This video is sponsored by KiwiCo. More about them later. In this video, I transform a beautiful vintage desk for my friend Margo, whose office space is in serious need of an upgrade. Ah! Can I take her love of vintage and modern and give her the dreamy white desk she deserves? Or is this desk gonna have me fired? Oh God, <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is going to be another thrift flip. <laughs> we are taking on a giant vintage desk for an office space, and I am so excited to show you all the unique things about this desk. But of course, before we get into it, if you are new here, first off, hello, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and join this awesome DIY community that we have here. We do a lot of thrift flip projects on this channel, so if that is your thing, then you've come to the right channel. So let's get into this because y'all need to see this desk. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Let me tell you who this piece is for. Meet the magical Margot. Hey Danny, it's Margot, your old buddy from when we worked in TV. Danny, I need your help. I'm a personal brand photographer now. This is my office and I've got a problem I gotta show you. So this desk behind me, it's where I do all my photo editing, all my video editing, but Danny, it is too small. It is not sturdy, kind of wobbly. And in fact, when I tried to fix it, this happened. Can you see that? I went through with my drill and I didn't even bother to fix it. Danny, I need your help. Can you hook me up? My perfect desk definitely would be something older, vintage. Something with character that really says something. I love that mix when maybe one piece is vintage and everything else is modern. And I would love it to be really big. Can you help me? Can you give it a shot? I know you love a good pun. <laughs> okay, so that's Margot. As Margot mentioned, we used to work together in my past life. She loves a world where vintage meets modern. A girl to my heart. She also mentioned character and she wants it large and in charge. Well, after I knew all of this, I went shopping on Facebook Marketplace and did I happen to find the perfect desk. It was large, it was old, it had storage and it had character. So I talked down the price, drove out to the middle of nowhere, and I picked up that desk. And here we are. La -da -da, la -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Behold, the desk. Spit her fingers. Check this beautiful desk out. She's vintage. She's got charm. She's got decorative legs and a beautiful brown leather top. But let me show you the best part. She has double-sided drawers. Well, one side is faux, but you get what I mean. So now that we have the desk, the real question is, what am I gonna do with it? So I had Margot send me some fantasy shots of like what the perfect desk would look like for her. And this is what I got. A white desk, a white desk, and another white desk. Okay, so I'm picking up what you're putting down, Margo. We gotta do a white desk because I feel like if we don't, Margo's gonna be rather disappointed. <laughs> but I do think our desk choice is bang on. I mean, she's got character. She's got these beautiful decorative legs. We got these awesome storage drawers, which is perfect. And it's large and in charge. And I mean, if Margo wants character, this desk is giving you character. I'm a character actress. So now that I have all the information that I need and I got my desk, I just need to come up with a plan of how this desk is going to stay vintage, but meet some modernness and we need to make it white. So I'm going to go and noodle this up in the noggin and uh, come up with a plan because I don't have one yet, but I will. I'm going to go do that now. 
Whew. All right, I am just taking a break, noodling some ideas for this desk. And while I'm doing that, I figured it's a great time to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's episode, KiwiCo. KiwiCo creates super rad hands-on projects and toys designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Now, each month, a new crate will arrive with a new theme that teaches hands-on learning and fun. They have subscription lines for kids of all ages and interests, and even some for adults like me. Now, you're given all the supplies you need, a detailed kid-friendly instructions, and an education magazine filled with content to learn even more about the crate's theme, and they ship to more than 40 countries. I am such a fan of these crates because they inspire kids to see themselves as makers. They're engineering and creating their own innovative designs and outcomes. And honestly, if we can inspire and encourage kids how to problem solve or innovate or just create some magic, who knows what they will do tomorrow. Now, the crates I have right here are the Eureka Crate and the Maker Crate. The Eureka Crate teaches kids how to apply principles of science and math to engineer solutions and make awesome things they're going to love using every single day. And the Maker Crate, now, whether you're 14 or 35 or 80 years old, a first time crafter or an experienced maker, KiwiCo designs each crate to include a chance to experiment with new techniques, draw inspiration from real designs, and you take pride in a finished product that's both fun and functional. Look how cool this is. I made a pinball machine, a functioning pinball machine. This is so cool. I'm, I'm obsessed, it's so much fun to play. And then up next in the maker crate, I have the these clay polymer succulents to make. So I have a good weekend ahead of me, I can tell. <laughs> Honestly, this was so much fun to create, even as an adult, but these boxes kind of just feel like an invitation to inspire young and older DIYers in the making. And the best part is that KiwiCo is giving me a special link that you can use to get 50% off your first month of any subscription by going to kiwico.com slash DIY Danny and use the code DIY Danny. I've linked all of this in the description box. And with the holidays around the corner, if you don't want to subscribe and you just simply want to purchase like a one-off single crate, KiwiCo also offers a variety of individual crates at the KiwiCo store. There's actually even a limited time holiday project box to have fun celebrating the season. So go check it out and let's work to empower kids to be fearless innovators of our future. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, now let's get back to our own fearless project, shall we? Woo! Hmm. Okay, you know when you're leaving the house and you have all of this stuff on, scarf, earrings, you know, like the, the, the works. And the rule of thumb is when you're leaving the house, remove three things. I feel like that is the analogy I'd like to use for this situation because I have a ridiculous amount of ideas that I would love to add to this thing and like add all these bits and bobs and make it really cool and out of this world. But at the same time, I feel like I need to scale back and embrace simplicity with this piece. But I do want to keep the vintage, keep the, the, the personality of the piece, but really try to embrace this idea of vintage and modern coming together. You know what I mean? Before we get into transforming this piece in any shape or form, we really need to fix it because there are a lot of fundamental problems with this desk and I'm gonna show you what they are. Okay. The first problem, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but do you notice that the desk is doing a little bit of this like woo? There is not enough structure in the middle of the desk that over time the wood has started to dip down because of the weight. Like the legs are fine, but the weight is really pressing down in the middle. And now we kind of got this like U-shaped valley that's happening in the middle. And I think we really need to work to try to correct this. So I think we're gonna need to give this bad boy a brand new spine. We are going chiropractic today. <laughs> 
Next fundamental issue. This area here, as you can see, because of that bend, that this is not looking so great. The attachment braces, this guy here is not looking so hot. So we need to uh, fix this. I think I'm just gonna put some new nails in it. Like the wood itself is good, but boy, oh boy, does this need um, a new nail because it's starting to pop out. Some of the last issues is that these pieces, the fake out drawers are uh, uh, not, not in enough, <laughs> as you can see. On top of that, uh, this decorative detail, it did start to kind of warp, mostly because I'm assuming the, the desk has moved over time and then it just made all of this pop out. So there's a big gap here and here, this piece is actually broken off because of that warping. So I'd really like to see if we can fix the spine that all of this might be able to uh, push back together and then we can uh, secure it with some wood glue and, and some nails. So yeah, I think at this point, what we need to do is just start taking things apart, uh, clean this bad boy up. We need to see if we can rebuild the spine and then rebuild all the pieces that are broken. And then once that's done, we can finally start to transform this piece. So let's go play chiropractor, shall we? <laughs> After that bend was fixed, the decorative element on the front was actually sitting in place much better. There was less gaps. So obviously I did something right, but the original nails had started to pull out. So I removed the old nails and just secured it in place with new ones. I also pulled out the fake drawers and I added even more support to that decorative piece because I could access the sides now. It's time to see if this thing did in fact straighten out a little. Excuse me, boo-boo. Hi. Hi, my love. I'm gonna move this, okay? Yeah, are you gonna help? Are you gonna help me? Watch yourself. <laughs> You know what? I think it does look better. Still maybe like a little bit of a curve, but I don't think it's as bad as it was. Let's see, let's try to put this in. We still got a little bit of that gapping there. Honestly, I think it might be okay. I think she's good enough. You know, it's part of the desk's character, so to speak. I just feel better knowing that this is a little bit more sturdy. So I will, uh, I'll take that. I'll take that as a win. All right, so now that the desk was supported and that hardware was removed, I wanted to start on removing this like strange felted spot. I couldn't tell what it was from, maybe a sticker or maybe it was something that had had like a felted bottom like Velcro because it was very soft, kind of strange, but it had to go. So I carefully sanded this away, trying not to remove too much of the desk layer underneath it. I gotta admit, after removing that hardware, the drawer fronts had really large holes left behind. So I used Adapt Premium Wood Filler, my tried and true. I love this product. I filled in the holes and just added a light layer over the entire fronts. If you're going to paint a wood cabinet, a light layer of this is great because the wood filler just kind of gets in all the wood grain pattern. So when you go to sand it down, it just becomes a perfectly smooth surface to paint over. And none of that wood grain pattern comes through. 
Oh my gosh, we started this at nine and it's 3.30 and I'm only finishing the prep now. I gotta say though, you have to put in that prep. You have to put in the time to make sure that this thing is just good to go before you paint or it's just gonna be a lost cause. So our table is prepped, we're ready to start painting. So what am I painting with? We are gonna go with the color Betty, which is a furniture paint by the paint line Mango Paint, owned by my friend Melanie. She is a Canadian-based entrepreneur. She has 26 colors and I'm such a big fan of her. I love her paint and I think she just deserves all the love in the world. So if you're looking for furniture paint and you wanna give a Canadian based entrepreneur some love, then I have linked her down in the description box. Go check out the paint. The nice thing about this paint is that it doesn't need a primer. Because the desk had a bit of a finish on it already, that is already acting as a layer to ensure that that paint isn't going to bleed through my white paint. Now, all I did was just give this desk a very light scuff sand. That's all it needed just to make sure we're given something for our paint to grab onto. The bad news about the Betty is that it, this is the whitest white from the mango line, which means that there's a good chance I'm probably gonna have to do multiple coats, but that's okay. I'm gonna be using a roller and a paintbrush uh, to get this on. But with that said, let's give this a good shake and let's get painting. Yeah, we're going in the paint. happening right now no no don't shake around my desk okay go lay down dog hair all over my thing <laughs> okay we're going Satisfying! All right, so the top looks great. I was able to remove any of like the, the paint that might have kind of come out. It looks good. So now we can finally clean this up. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this moment. So to do that, we're gonna use this guy. So this is called Leather Honey. I actually use this to clean the leather couches in my living room and it works so good. And it actually doesn't smell too bad either, weirdly, but this cleans and restores leather, faux leather, vinyl, plastic, and rubber. Great stuff. I get this right off Amazon. So I'll link it down below if you're looking for like a leather cleaner. We're gonna take it to this. I'm just using a microfiber cloth and let's See if it cleans up this beautifully and just makes that leather 
shine. I'm just gonna pour this all around. I probably don't need this much, but you know what? This leather's seen some stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, do you see that color coming back in? Move off all of that guck. Oh, and we're gonna let this leather honey just seep into this leather and do its work. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I really hope that this is coming through on camera because it just looks so much better in IRL. Oh, feels so good now. Okay, friends, it's officially time to move on to a part that I've been so excited to do. If you know me and this channel, then you know I love a good open drawer surprise moment. Like I just, I don't believe in any drawer opening without there being a fun color, a fun wallpaper, a fun stencil. It's just blasphemy if it's normal. <laughs> I do know that Margo loves flowers, so I definitely wanted to bring some floral touches to this piece. I could not decide on one for the life of me. So I have three in front of me and they're all very different. The first one I ordered was this beautiful, colorful floral detail. We have some peonies, we got some lilies in here. We got some daisies and sunflowers, but I love how colorful it is. I love that it's on white and I like all the little brown touches and dark elements that really seem to bring out the brown leather and the white details of this desk. So this is definitely a strong competitor editor. Now, this middle one was actually the first one that I found and I fell in love with this. I love the vintage aspect of it. I love the blue and I just, I love the roses and the butterflies and uh, I just, I want to like marry this wallpaper, truly. Like this is just, feels like it's like me in a wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I don't like about this one is the fact that it does have a bit of a yellowy backdrop. So it is a little bit more vintage and I I thought it might be okay, but now seeing it against this desk, I'm wondering if maybe it's just a little too vintagey, but I do I love it so much. And then the last one I decided it would be my dark horse, you know, go for a little bit of a darker detail. I loved this pink flower. I love how it looks painted and it's just so beautiful. Having seen all three of these, I think I'm leaning towards number one. I think it's gonna be beautiful. I love the color pop, Margot is is naturally such a colorful, vibrant personality. And I think that this wallpaper speaks to me. It like says Margot in it. So I think we're gonna go with this one. I should note that all three of these are a peel and stick wallpaper. So it should be quite easy to just cut it to size and then peel the back and then just lay it down. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get set up. I'm gonna pull my paper cabinet out and we can start getting ready to cut some drawer inserts. <laughs> Very exciting. So we are moving on to hardware. I had a tough time deciding what I wanted to go with this for this piece because, you know, there's just so many options out there. And because we're trying to like collab a vintage and modern piece together, how do you do that? So I decided that I would bring in some modern touches and some vintage touches in the hardware. So I went and found these really beautiful brass knobs. I love the little kind of like ribbed detail around the edge. It just gives it a little personality and it's really a solid knob. I'm kind of obsessed. It's super modern and I love that about these pieces. So I thought all of these can go on the drawer fronts. And then we have the middle drawer, which I thought would be really fun to add kind of like an antique hardware piece. So I went to my local restore. I 
always start at the ReStore if I'm ever looking for unique hardware. It is the best place to find hardware. So I ended up finding three pulls. So I have this kind of very unique um, antique looking one. I also have a little bit more of a moderny one. And then I found this one, which I think is going to be my winner. It has this really nice detail that kind of mimics the legs on this piece. So I kind of love that so much. So I'm kind of excited with this direction and luckily the brass really matched nicely. So I'm, I'm thrilled about that. Also, I'm gonna make sure I measure so that I don't put these hardware pieces in the wrong spot. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. I think we're done! <laughs> that was a lot of work for not a lot of things done to it. You know what I mean? This was this was a beast. A beastly desk and a beastly project, but I am really happy with it. It does need a little bit of cleaning up. Like I gotta go through it and uh, wipe it down and then just really let that finish cure. And then I think we'll be ready to bring this to Margot's office. <laughs> I'm so excited for her to see it. Margo, my friend, I hope you love this desk because boy, oh boy, was she a beast. So the desk Don't doesn't fit. fit up those stairs because of the little jut out here. I'm gonna have to cut the legs off and then re like basically turn them into turning legs so that they screw into place. Oh my God, I'm like, my heart is breaking right now. Everything's gonna be fine. We're just gonna have to cut the legs off our desk. Top of the morning to your DIY friends. We are back in the garage and the desk has come with us. <laughs> the fix for it required a little bit more than I anticipated, which is why I had to bring it back here before I could officially give it back to Margot. Let me show you what happened to this desk and how I fixed it. So the original legs are right here. My plan when I brought it back was I was gonna cut the legs, which I did. So as you can see, the top of it's been cut off. I added a piece of hardware in here and then I used a top plate like this so the leg could just screw into it. And then I flipped the desk over and just be because the leg was just on this one little pivot point, it just wasn't secure enough for the size of the desk. The legs were really wobbly. It wasn't feeling good. It wasn't feeling structural. And I'm like, there's no way I can give this to Margot. So my solve for this, was I actually made a custom bracket. I, I cut a piece of metal and added it to the top of these legs and then I added it on the desk and because I had to cut it shorter, the whole desk was too short. I could add a piece from the top to make it higher but it just wasn't gonna give me the look that I wanted. So I ended up going and switching gears and I've added new legs to the desk. So 
let me show you what I did and how I created that custom piece um, to, to make this solve. Okay, so we're down on the ground because I've been painting this up. I've been working on it for the last week and a half. As you can see here, there's basically, I had to create a metal bracket. So I ended up getting a piece of flat steel and then I drilled three holes into the middle, which then the new legs got screwed into. And then basically I created like a top plate for it that I was able to screw the leg into in three different spots to make this really secure. It's the only way with a desk this big that I was able to do it, but I was able to find Find these beautiful legs they're very ornate they have that shape that Margot really likes but because of this bracket that I added I didn't want you to be able to see it from underneath just because of the way the desk is so what I did was I ended up adding a piece of trim here on the side this was just from Home Depot um, and it's nice because it matches the look here so it's nice so it feels really like cohesive with the desk so I added this piece here so because of that I added this extra little lip here which makes this completely hidden but then because of that I actually ended up adding a small piece of trim at the bottom here so that this is nice and hidden and still feels one with the desk you can't see the legs so look at that it just feels nice and structural and I think I think she's gonna be okay I have it up on here because I've just been repainting the whole thing I had to repaint the legs which came in pine now I just need to add a finish to it but the fix has been made it was a whole freaking thing and required a lot of surgery but I was able to get it to where I needed it to be. So I think we're ready to go back to Margot's and finally reveal this desk and now that I can get it into her office space. <laughs> Woo, I can start breathing again. <laughs> Okay, friends, we made it to Margo, and guess who I got with me? I got my bestie, Jess! Hi! I'm also I'm sweating. We are sweating. We got the desk, but like, we got the desk up! It's in the room. So now we need to get those detachable legs on this desk, and then we'll stand it up, and then we can start bringing this together! Finally! Do it for Margo! supports my channel. Margo, remember your old office space, your old desk? Oh you had screws popping out of your You're desk. Awesome. It was so old that like dirt had just worked itself into the grain of that desk and you couldn't get it clean. And you're a boss, you deserve the best. So on three, I want you to see your new office space. One, two, three. having my desk in the center of the room. Doesn't oh, it work? I cannot eat it. <laughs> this is genuine. I can have it. I want to show you one of the most lovely things Please about do. this desk. So this desk has a fake out. So it's got like a beautiful front okay. on it, but these are all fake. So okay. this is just for showsies. It's a desk that's literally meant to be in the middle of a room. This is what I'm saying. You couldn't yeah. hide this. Yeah. Like even just the detail. Yeah. It's I meant to be in the middle of a room. No, I'd like for you to sit in your new chair. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to open this up for you. Please. Okay. So oh, all, wallpaper all the drawers have this beautiful wallpaper Stop. inside. I 
I'm just so thrilled. You I can't even. You have a big girl dust now. I have a big girl dust. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed. So thank you. I You're just, so welcome. I stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're excited. I know. Me too. Oh, I feel so good sitting in this desk. I like, I like it. I like the vantage point. I feel like I can see people walk in. It's like, come into my office, sit down, please. Jess, we need to talk about your performance this month. <laughs> it was positively amazing. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, am I ever thrilled that Margot loves this desk. I mean, I love this desk. I saw the potential in it and I just, I'm so happy that she loves it too. Now that she has this desk and feels inspired, I just, I can't wait to see what she does with her business. I can feel the magic in here already. And of course, thank you again to the sponsor of today's episode, KiwiCo. A reminder to use my code in the description to get 50% off your first month of any subscription and use the code DIYDanny. The holidays are around the corner, so these would make such great gifts or you can just get single crates at the KiwiCo store. So go check it out. You guys should let me know, what do you think of the desk? Do you love it as much as Marco and I do? Comment down below, what would you have changed? Would you have kept it? wood? Would you have painted it a different color? Let me know in the comment section below and give this video a big thumbs up because it helps and it boosts my algorithm. You guys know I'm trying to get to 300,000 by the end of this year. So help a girl out, tell a friend, tell everyone you know, go subscribe. And sending so much love to my Patreon family. You guys know who you are. I love you. If you're looking for a community of DIYers to inspire you, to help you feel creative as like a little office space virtually. <laughs> my Patreon is the place for you. Check it out, it's linked to my description box. And of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye. You're so cute.